Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be changing the oil on this Compact Pro 34. This is the Gravely, and this one has the Kawasaki engine. This one is brand new. I have about 20 hours on it. I don't know if you can see with the camera. You're going to need a few things. You're going to need two quarts of the recommended oil for your engine. I picked this up from the lawnmower shop. And then I got my oil filter right here. It's in a bag because it wasn't in a case or anything, and I don't want to get any dirt in it. And you're going to need some random sockets and stuff like that. And a 2 liter to catch the oil. I believe this is 2.1 quarts. And the mower holds 2 quarts. Now what they told me at the store was to put 1.5 quarts in it. And then check it. Quick word of advice. Don't do any of this stuff while the engine is too hot. Because, uh, you know, you risk burning yourself. I only turned it on for a you know 30 40 seconds to get into the backyard here is your drain plug and here is where you pour the oil into first thing you want to do is take your oil filter off now I really don't like how this is set up there's like a pan under there and I know when I take that oil filter off all that oil is just gonna get onto that pan then I'm gonna have another issue that's really nice the way they put that in there because now the oil is draining right on top of the pulleys see that oil is just draining right on top of those pulleys so yeah here's the uh yeah so now i got oil all over that pan maybe they put a little hole in there but I don't know. I don't like that. Alright, once that's done, we're going to take this drain plug. I'm going to take this off. And then I'm going to fish this underneath here. Down by the wheel. And then I just got it hanging down right here. So I'm going to need to get a socket and a wrench and uh, loosen this. And then the oil should drain out. Alright, definitely going to need a socket and ratchet for that. Cause that, that thing is on there tight the first time. Just let everything drain out. Pretty much at this time we're waiting on that to drain. We can go ahead and put our filter in. I usually just try to put those on as hard as I can with my hand. Still draining, about half of the two liter is full so far. But once it gets to like drops here and there is probably when you're good. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. And then we're gonna put that screw back in. All right, now let's put this back in here. Now put it back up in this holster. And then that should be good right there.
Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and add the other half a quart. Now take your dipstick, put it back in. Turn it tight. Now I'm going to start the mower up and let it run for a second. Grab a couple napkins. And it says when you check this oil, you're not supposed to turn it when you put it back down. So we're just going to drop it right here. And take it back out. And it looks like it is on the low end, so I'm going to add some. So I put about half of what was left. And then if it's still low, we're just going to add the rest of it. But they said it should be anywhere from 1.5 to 2 quarts. These things are very hard to read. I think it's about halfway up the thing, so I'm going to go ahead and probably add the rest of the quart. Uh, yeah, I think we're full now. You can see it's all the way up to the, the lines. Appreciate you checking out the video. If this video helped you out, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.